Spanish cuisine is complex and varied. So, a couple of categories. You got your seafood, delicious. They love their wine and tapas and cured meats. They do some of the best cured meats in the world. They also do a pretty good roast paprika chicken. So let's do it. Lots of garlic, fresh garlic. Get it on a microplane, mulch it up, get it into the bowl. The rest is pretty simple. Spanish smoked paprika, nothing less than the best. Get a lot of it in there. It's gonna help with the color and it's gonna be the base and the rhythm of the flavor. Dried oregano, it goes so good on a roasted spit chicken and cumin, get a couple shots of cumin in there. Onion powder is great, it comes alive when you put it on the barbecue, and it's got a little sweet kiss. And don't tell anybody, this is between me and you, a little chicken powder, and it's just gonna add more flavor of chicken. And then for one fresh herb, thyme and meat are best friends. You want it nice and pasty so you can rub it all over the chicken. All right, that is packed full of flavor. Let's talk about chicken. It's a delicious young bird. You're gonna get lots of flavor from the bone and the skin, but you wanna season it. So get in there, get that rub all over the chicken. Let's do it. That's what you want to see. The wing tips hiding in there, the legs nice and tight, that is ready for the rotisserie. Just imagine this slow roasting and the chicken fat starts to melt and glazes and it gets nice and crispy. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands, but I'll see you at the barbecue. That smells delicious. All right, it's super important that the chicken's nice and tight and in the center of all of that heat. It's also important to make sure that it rotisses, because if it doesn't rotis, it's not rotisserie chicken. That looks great, and the drip tray is important because a little beer is gonna act like a sauna, so if you get it in there, as it heats up, it keeps moisture in the grill. A little for the drip tray and a little for the chef. Let her go for about half hour, 45 minutes, and then I'll check it and give it a baste. Good luck. So it's been about half hour, 45 minutes. Let's have a look. Woohoo! That looks great. The spice mix is keeping the bird really nice and juicy, and I love it just rolling slowly on the spit. It's time for a big old baste. I wish you could smell it. Let's do it. This is the type of recipe where time is your friend, not your enemy. So it's been another 45 minutes, let's have a look. Look at that, that makes me so happy. It's really nice and charred. The fat helps with the char and helps keeping the bird really nice and moist. And those little charred bits, those are your best friends. Okay, one more baste. It's really important to let it rest. Let the juices chill out, go back into the meat, and then take it off the spit, and I'll show you why. Check this out. You can see the juice coming out of it. It retains all of its moisture, and it soaks up so much flavor. That's gonna be a good bite. Yeah. Uh, all day. The Spanish smoked paprika sells it. It's juicy, it's delicious, and it reminds me of home.